Guess what? What? It's 7.30, the parks are closed, but we're going in because Orlando Informer. This is day two, we did a mini meetup last night. So we're excited, I'm gonna show you around. I'm not gonna do much talking, I'm just gonna add some commentary in later. But free food all night, uh, low wait times, and not as many people in the park. So we're excited, right Carol? All right. So you may be asking, what is Orlando Informer? It is an after-hour events for both parks at Universal Studios Florida. Typically it runs to either 12.30 to 1.30 a.m. Tickets are a little expensive, but with it comes free food, low wait times, and less crowds. I remember hearing someone on the OI staff say that the parks are only at a 25% capacity if they sell out. For these meetups, they typically start letting guests into the park around 5 p.m., which gives them a chance to catch the Christmas parade, uh, check out the Christmas tribute store, and on Saturday, Mannheim Steamroller actually had a concert for park guests at Universal Studios that we were able to catch. For food, typically the food stalls will start allowing Orlando and former guests to get drinks or snacks around 30 minutes after park closes to daytime guests. And restaurants will open and start serving basically an hour after the park closes. Some restaurants uh, take a little bit more time to prep, but some of these lines can get a bit long, so you'll have to decide if some of the food items are worth it or not. So here's a little minion buffet that we got. Can't remember what it's all in here, but I got it on a map, so I'll just put it in here. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> Speaking of lines, from our experience, the only ride lines you'll see is either Hagrid's motorbike or Velocicoaster. Everything else is basically a walk-on, once they clear out daytime guests, of course. I did forget to add that some of the roller coasters do close earlier on Saturdays just because of noise ordinance. So I know most roller coasters there, if they're not indoors, they close at 12 p.m. 
and they'll probably start shutting down the lines around 11:30. Um, the only non-outside roller coaster that they shut down is Escape from Gringotts, which goes down at 12 for maintenance reasons. So quick rundown of Pteranodon Flyers during the meetup. Since you usually need a child to ride this ride, they do a lottery the week leading up to the meetup, and those who enter get an email if they have been selected. This was our fifth attempt and finally got selected to ride this ride. We're going to Pteranodon Flyers. Oh, so I don't know the way. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Super thrilling, right? So, best ride ever, Carol? <laughs> Close. <laughs> it was fun. I wasn't expecting it to be like the most thrilling thing ever. But it's just like a nice, easy ride. It gave you a great view of the park, like a bird's eye view of things around you. It was nice. I liked it. Yay. I'm saying it's the best ride ever. Hey. <sighs> So we we're done with our third night of Orlando Informer. We are extremely tired. Feet hurt, knees hurt, and our bellies are full. So, but thank you for watching. <laughs> um, it is 1.40 in the morning. So we are gonna get ready for bed. But thank you for watching. And until next time, Take those vitamins, do those stretches, take it easy at the parks or else this happens to you. All right, bye.